Brandon Sanderson is known for being one of the greatest outliners of the modern day. And I actually wanted to walk through how you could use AI to outline in a similar fashion to what Brandon Sanderson does to make that whole process just a little bit easier if you wanted to outline in the same way he does. Now the techniques I'm gonna show you today is to get a general outlining template for your novel. It's not gonna actually piece together exactly how your novel is going to work. It's just gonna give you the template to work off of so that you can start filling in the blanks. But this will result in a much more complex, much more rich outlining template that you can use however you wanna use in your own writing journey. Now, if you are familiar with Sanderson, you'll know on YouTube he has recordings of his lectures that he gives at BYU. There are multiple versions out there, but the most recent one is on his own channel, Brandon Sanderson, and they are fantastic. Let me just first say that. They are, it's some of the best gold that you will ever hear on how to write a good novel. But in it, he outlines his own outlining process. And the way he does that is he looks at what kind of storylines are going to be in his book and he makes a list of all of the different scenes that you would need for that storyline then he does the same for er all of the other storylines and all of the major viewpoint characters and everything like that and then he finds a way to sort of layer them all together in a cohesive narrative structure which you know makes a really good book obviously and so for instance in his book mistborn which is my personal favorite and where i recommend people start if you're unfamiliar with sanderson's work in Mistborn, the primary plot is a heist, a heist novel. And so you would basically say, okay, what are the different elements of a heist? There's, you know, the coming together, assembling the team step. There is the drafting out the problem step. There is all of the little steps of, you know, doing all of the little things that are required before you can pull off the actual heist and so on and so forth, right? In Mistborn, there's also a master and apprentice plot which is between Vin, the main character, and Kelsey, uh, the mentor character, that kind of helps to explain the world building a little bit. And so he does that. Plus, you have some minor character arcs for a number of the different characters, so you need to plot out all of the steps in those character arcs and fold them together into the whole thing. You may also have, say, a character arc for the villain or something like that and fold that into the whole thing. In Mistborn, there is also a love story, and so you would want to plot out what are all the different scenes that you need in a love story, plot those all out, then fold them together as well. Some of these scenes, you might be able, as you're folding them together, you might find that you can actually kill two birds with one stone and have a scene that fulfills two or even three of the different tasks that it needs to do, and that's something that you would want to figure out. But the point is, once you've sort of identified all of those different plot threads, woven them together, you can then actually go through and plot the novel in a beautifully simple way. And AI makes this so much easier, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So the AI we're gonna be using today is ChatGPT. However, you could also use Claude Pro or Gemini Advanced for this. Uh, I've tested it on all three tools, and it works in all three tools. And because this is a very structural thing, I'm deciding to use ChatGPT because it's good with that sort of task. But the prompt we want to give it here, and I'll try to recreate some of the different steps that you might see in Mistborn so you can see how it would work with Mistborn, is we're going to ask for all of the different scene types. That's the phrase you want to use, scene types. This is actually something that I got from Elizabeth Ann West at Future Fiction Academy. There's a link to that below. She's the first one that clued me into this sort of thing a long time ago, but this is the prompt you want. Give me a complete list of scene types for a heist storyline, okay? So because this is like the backbone of what Mistborn is, this is what I would actually start with. All right, and it's given us a list of 17 scenes here. That's a decent amount. We're gonna go ahead and copy all of this. A lot of these are really good. We've got the catalyst, the assembler, the planning, the skill showcase, the stakeout, the gear up, the twist, all, all definitely things that you would find in a heist storyline, all of which are also found in the novel Mistborn, by the way. I'm just gonna take these and set them aside in a separate document. We're just gonna call this the heist plot line. So now we have those there. And now we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna open a new chat, give it the same prompt, 
Except instead of a heist storyline, we're going to say a master and apprentice storyline. And it gave us a pretty good number of scenes here as well. We've got 10 scenes. This is beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead, take this to my document again, and we're going to call this master and apprentice storyline. Just copy everything in there. Last but not least, we're going to add the love story. Now this is might be a situation where you could add a little more information. So if you know a little bit more about the specific love story that you're going to have here, because there are all sorts of different ways that you could do love stories, you could add a little bit more information about who the characters are. If you are familiar with your characters, at least enough to be able to give a little bit more guidance, you can do that at any stage while you're doing this process. So I'm going to say, because I know the Mistborn story, I'm going to say between a young woman who is a peasant pretending to be a noble to infiltrate the nobility and a young man who is one of the highest born nobles in the city. We'll see how this prompt does, but giving a little extra information like that could work out to your favor. So let's go ahead and go with that. This is interesting. The very first scene is the masquerade ball introduction. I didn't say anything about balls, but that is literally the first scene in Mistborn between these two characters is she goes to a ball. All right, so we got the whole thing here. I'm going to go ahead, copy it to the document and say love story storyline. Paste everything in there. Now, if you want, you could also put like a basic plot line foundation on top of this. I don't think this is something that Brandon Sanderson does per se, at least not consciously. He probably does it somewhat unconsciously. But you want to actually have a basic underlying story structure because a good story structure will not only give you the overall plot of the novel, it will give you a solid character arc for the protagonist. So I like to have that in there if I'm doing this myself. Uh, I've, of course, mentioned before many times that the 24 chapter novel outline is one of my favorites. I'm working on one myself that'll be 40 chapters that I'm actually pretty happy with. I'm currently testing it with members of my community. But once I have that, I might recommend that as well. But you can go ahead and just select the standard template here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into the document. I'll say, I'll call this the foundational novel outline and character and the foundational novel outline and character arc for the protagonist. And then I'll just paste in the entire thing there. So now we have this document with lots and lots of potential scenes in it. And we want to make sure that these fit together in a way that makes sense. There may be scenes that make sense to combine with other scenes. And so we're going to use AI to sort of help with that process. Although I'll admit you might want to spot check this one manually and spend some time going through each set and figuring out how you could layer it into the main plot. But we're going to take everything we've just put into this document, copy it, and we'll go back to ChatGPT. And this will be the prompt that we put down. The following is a list of scene types for a novel, including a foundational plot that follows the three act structure, a heist plot line, a master and apprentice plot line, and a love story plot line. Please give me a com comprehensive outline that layers all of, all of these plot lines together. If it makes sense to combine scenes, do so, but clearly label these scenes as having more than one scene type included. Include all of the listed scenes. And so that is going to be our prompt. And below that, I'm going to paste everything we just had in that document and let it go. And out of curiosity, I'm going to copy this exact same prompt and I'm going to paste it into Claude and Gemini to see how well they do. So we're going to put this into Claude because Claude does have a much better token size limit. But I think we can do this in all three and see which one does better. Okay, so it is in, in ChatGPT, it is combining a lot of different scenes. So we have the really bad day, the catalyst, and the meeting. This is three different scenes all in one. That might be too many, so you might want to look at this and say, okay, should we split this up or not? There might be too much going on in this, which is fine, but at least it does label all three of these. So you can see, oh, okay, this is a, a combination of these three scene types. So you can go back and look and say, is it a good idea to put them together into one, uh, which we see here the description is, the protagonist, a skilled but delusioned thief, faces a personal and professional setback, highlighting their flaws and desires. They encounter a mysterious figure, the master who hints at a grand heist and offers an apprenticeship. This is actually very similar to what happens in Mistborn. But the problem here is this is all in one chapter, one scene. It probably would take several scenes to fully establish this. So it's probably combining things a little bit too much here. 
uh, as as seen here by the inciting incident happening right after chapter three. I think we should definitely have more chapters here. In fact, it's only using 24 chapters, which was part of the 24 chapter novel outline. And so, yeah, uh, I would probably split this up a little bit more, but it does tell you where these things make most sense to include all of the different scenes as it's layering it. Let's see how Claude did. So Claude looks like it did the same thing. It included just the 24, 25 chapters here. So maybe what we can do is tweak our prompt just a little bit to ask it not to fold the chapters in. I think that might have been too much and it ended up folding everything in. So let's try this again, but we're going to tweak this prompt and get rid of this section that says, if it makes sense to combine the scenes, do so. I'm gonna see if that makes a difference. So yeah, here it did something kind of similar, but it's a little bit more differentiated. So we have chapter one, a really bad day. The protagonist, a skilled but delusioned, disillusioned thief faces a personal crisis, highlighting their flaws and desires for a better life. Then we have the heist plot line catalyst. Protagonist is pre presented with an opportunity for a life-changing heist. Master and apprentice storyline, the meeting. The protagonist encounters a retired master thief who sees potential in them. So this is a little bit more just separated out. And there might be some things like, for instance, it's starting the love story right here. You might want to move the love story so it doesn't start until like, say, act 2B, right? So you could prompt it to do that. Or you could just take these and layer in them, layer them together yourself, depending on what you want to do. This is one of those things that I think it might help to have that human touch to really say, OK, where does it make the most sense to include these scenes or other scenes? And I'm looking at what Gemini gave me and Gemini actually, I feel like it's done almost a better job. It took the liberty of inserting its characters here. So it just made up some characters, but it did some interesting things here. And perhaps if we were to give it a genre and characters and all of that, it would do an even better job. I have actually found that Gemini tends to be really good at brainstorming and doing things like this with outlining. It seems to be more creative at that part of the process even though it's not so good at actually writing the prose and all of that later on. Claude ended up doing the same thing that it did before. It only gave us 25 chapters, but it did also kind of break these chapters up into different scenes here. So for instance, we have chapter one, really bad day, introduces the protagonist, a skilled thief facing a personal vendetta or financial desperation that leads to a decision to plan a heist. Protagonist meets the love interest, a member of the nobility, at a masquerade ball, sparking an initial attraction. So it kind of layered those two together in a way that doesn't make too much sense to me. So really, I think the winner out of this one is, is Gemini as far as merging the different chapter types together. But again, I don't think that any of these three tools is going to be great at layering them together. I think that's going to be something that is better suited for you to do. But what AI really excels at here and why it can really help you outline like Brandon Sanderson is to make that list of scenes for the different scene types or, or storyline types that you might encounter in a story. So I hope that was useful for you and I'll see you in the next video.